subtractions. And this method is used for finding forces in selected members. See the one we had before, you have to go through joint by joint and you solve force in every member. But when you use method of sections, then you're really looking at uh, forces only in few members. And <coughs> let's we're gonna go back to the same example we had before, which means the same truss. This member here is uh, then we had uh, forces. There was a force here, it was 500 pounds. There was a force here that was 1,000 pounds. There was another force here, it was 500 pounds. And then we had the force due to reaction. And there was a roller here that gives you a reaction as 250 pounds. Then there was a hinge here that gave us a reaction as 500 pounds. There was a reaction here that was 1250 pounds. So this one was done yesterday, uh, Monday, and we had these dimensions. I think it was 10 feet, 10 feet. 10 feet, and these angles came out to be, this is 45, this was 45. Then the joints were numbered as A, D, C, then it was a B and A. And we walked through this example, and we <coughs> found force in every member using method of joints. But now, we want to find uh, forces in members, and we're looking at member E, P, we're looking at member E, C, and we're looking at member D, C. So the, the question here is to find member force in here, member force in here, and a member force in here. So that's all the <coughs> three forces we need. So there is no need to work through the <coughs> method of joints. We, we use method of section. 